Hey everyone, I'm here with a new ROM review for the Captivate, and this time it's gonna be Darky Ficetto or Ficetto's um, V2JVH. I'm not sure if I got that totally correct, it's a bit of a mouthful, um, but that would be the ROM I'm reviewing. It's actually a good ROM, um, it's a new ROM, I believe, um, for the Captivate. Um, and, uh, it has a few bugs, but then again, it's also a pretty nice ROM, so let's get down to it. Alright, so when we power the device on, we see that there's the Android, stock Android lock screen. That cannot be changed. Uh, I don't mind that because it's the lock screen of my choice, but, um, some people may not like that, but, um, you can go ahead and put your own lock screens in if you can. Um, then after that, what you will notice would be the two launchers, just like the, um, Darkies, uh, V10. You got the gingerbread launcher, the stock gingerbread launcher with, um, scroll down, app drawer, as usual. Then we got, uh, sorry about that, and sorry about that. We got the touchless launcher over here. Which is, um, well, it's the older TouchWiz again, so no bugs to report. <laughs> Works great. Everything is organized and looks good. So everything in this ROM is pretty stock looking. It's, it has a good feel. Um, I tend to like it stock, uh, except for the icons. Some of them are different. Like, of course, the camera icon. It's uh, different looking, but in a good way. I personally like them. And, uh, of course, we got everything gingerbread going on here with a, a solid, opaque uh, notification bar. It's very responsive. Everything goes out well. Uh, the dialer is stock with landscape support. So, it's pretty good there. Um, so, as far as fluidity goes, I've gone ahead and spammed the home screens with widgets. And you do not lose any fluidity. So that's a great thing, and um, g great job by those who ported and the creators of this ROM. Um, big thumbs up goes to you. I've not seen a ROM respond this well as of yet. So great job there. So sadly, as much as I want this ROM to be perfect, it's not going to cut it. Um, there are some bugs that we have to deal with. They're not heavy, so it's it's definitely a usable ROM. I'm definitely recommend this, recommending this ROM even though it has some bugs, but let's go ahead and look at them. First of all, um, we cannot change the ringtone into anything. Um, let's try to lovely it. It will force close on you if you try to change the ringtone. Or the notification ringtone. So that's a big problem there, and when you load up uh, the ROM, you get a few force closes when you boot up for the first time. It can get annoying, it doesn't really affect you, but that's there. Uh, the keyboard works well, but sometimes tends to lag uh, here and there, so it does keep up with my typing, it does do what it's supposed to do. By the way, the gingerbread keyboard is here, so that's that's an awesome add-on. But uh, it does tend to lag once in a while. Definitely no big deal. It doesn't slow you down. Like It will pick up the text eventually. And it does not happen as much, but slight problem there. And the other problem would involve booting up, so uh, let me just turn this off and reboot it to show you what exactly happens. Alright, so here we are, we're booting up here, and um, let's just wait for the boot animation to begin, which should happen shortly. Here we go. So as you can see, we have uh, boot sounds back, um, which is cool. But uh, the animation is a little choppy, but that's not the problem. 
Oh, let's just chill here for a sec. So, um, talking about the ROM, the battery life is great. Um, I've been testing it for a while with, uh, quite heavy use. Um, uh, been going through it for at least three, three to four hours, so. And as you saw, it was, um, going pretty well. And the boot problems did not show up this time, so that's, uh, an odd thing that goes on. Usually, oh, uh, there it is. It seems to boot loop, but it doesn't actually boot loop. So it keeps happening, and then it suddenly boots up. So this can be quite a problem when you want your phone to boot up really fast, because this will take a long time to boot up. I'm not sure if it will happen again, but I probably will. Last time I did it, it happened around three times. So, anyway, this is getting warm. Well, there's a lot of spots with... Oh, there it is. It's not technically boot loop because the phone is usable, so... I really hope the developers or the porters fix this up because I really love this room and they've done a great job here. That... There you go. It's finally booted up. So, great job here guys, I'm loving your work, and uh, I really hope to see a fix uh, for this stuff really soon. And I hope I helped you guys out, um, and that would be the fourth close I talked about at the beginning. It does not affect you in any way, it doesn't happen again though. So, that should be it for me, um, I'll talk to you guys later.